Holy, but the, the effects behind the sock, like the bullets in the matrix. <laughs> 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 arrived here in Northwood Park to meet up with some of our players. We're here for the 2019 Professional PDGA Pro World Champ. Professional PDGA Pro, the, the ch Pro Worlds. We're here to follow some of our players, do some practice round stuff. So if you like that kind of stuff on our YouTube channel, make sure you are subscribed so that you know that when we put those out. And also, Anthony and Danny are doing MPO3 tournament coverage. That's right, full tournament coverage of the MPO3 card. So again, Subscribe, subscribe, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button so you know when we post those on our YouTube channel. Mixed doubles just finished, so, um, and you're gonna find out, spoiler alert, you're gonna find out somebody that's near and dear to your heart won in mixed doubles. So let's check up on to see how our players are doing right after the rounds. All right, we made it. Okay. Hey. 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 Hello. Did you guys just finish or? Yeah. How'd it go? It was good, it was fun. I think yeah. we, we, me and Missy tied with Cynthia yeah. and Eric. I think Melton might have won. Is that true? Yeah, we birdied 11. That Melton won? Yeah. yeah. Madison really Madison. Won, Madison won well, Madison won. Yeah, really, it was Madison. Yeah, she carried Vinny won the second round. Vinny did win. I like that. Yeah. Cynthia about this for us? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, matching. <laughs> you know, you know oh, just the tan line. Just is, it, is it there? Is it bad? Is that, is it bad? <laughs> is that bad? <laughs> what is your say, American Fries? It's our team name. Oh, okay. Let me see our team logo. I go by America and then uh, Chandler Fry, so American Fries. Ah, I get it. I like it, I like it. Okay. Tell, us, tell us about the mixed doubles. How'd it go? Mixed doubles 2019 here at Northwood Park. And uh, what was the go to's? Okay, so. First round we play best shot, but there's a little wrinkle where you can you can't take someone's drive three three holes in a row. So if we play two of my drives, then the next hole has to be Madison's drive, uh, which was my partner Madison Walker. Uh, I have to give her name a little shout out because she carried me most of the first round. She played amazing. I'm not even kidding. Even though she kept telling me that like you know her back was kind of sore, but uh, yeah, she played great um, for the most part. Uh, we really didn't throw in the rough that much when we did. I think we had two bogeys first round and second round, but we shot the same score round two on alternate shot, which is pretty awesome, I think. Um, like, we had two bogeys, and I think those were the two holes that we threw. Like, we missed fairway. Besides that, we were playing great partner golf, hitting the fairways. Like, like some, some what Calvin uh, caddied for us, he pointed out, he's like, you guys basically played almost perfect with alternate. Like, you know, we shot, I think, seven yeah. under. Yeah. Eight under the first round and seven under the second round because yeah. par changed by stroke. But to shoot under par, alternate, I mean, that means both partners are, are carrying their weight. But nice. I yeah. definitely feel like, you know, I got carried a little bit today, but I'm all right with it because oh, we got that ring, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm well, good with what, it. I'm what good were with you it. leaning on? What disc um, you leaning on? Let's see. Out here at Northwoods, which is pretty wooded, I throw my Lucid X Maverick. It says... Zach Melton on it. It's a pretty good disc. You know, little shout out. But uh, oh, yeah. um, sidearm with the felon quite a bit. Emac Truth off the tee some. And the Explore. I threw the Explore a lot too. I kind of leaned on the fairways quite a bit. Just didn't go for a lot of distance, but just wanted to be in the fairway. Nice. Fairway with a fairway. Oh. They have a pizza ranch here? Yeah, it's a, it's a fire ranch. Yeah, right I'll, I'll go there. It's on the other side of the um, hotel. Wrong kind of ball, Eric. Red Sunday, Tiger Red. Grab my hand. It can be whatever. <laughs> Grab my hand. <laughs> we found that on the course. What are you I don't about know. To do? It could be anything. It could be a football tee, a scary movie. My throw hand breaks this time. For the vlog, you ready? This is what we do. Yep. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he dead. He dead. He dead. Get oh, him. The dog's Get him. <laughs> 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 On the floor counter. What's with one? Oh, I'm okay. On the floor oh, counter. Okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay.
We're okay. Thank you. All Thank right. you. Oh, oh God. All right. Let's see that chameleon again. Yeah, look at that. Look at that chameleon. Chameleon. Come and go. Come and go. That one dips in the middle. Yeah. What's this one? Emerson Keith. Look at that. Look at how flat that one is. You're flat. His are more dull. It's not like he's from. He knows a guy. Huh? <laughs> I know a guy. Watch his I know the ballista pro. Yeah. Tristan Tanner. Look at that dome. That chrome got, dome. Two, two, dude. Gold line first. Just go through your entire bag. Oh yeah, that's the... Recycled? Okay. Non-released, recycled. Oh, yeah. Like, this is what I would throw. Uh, just good. because they have it's flatter. Because yeah. 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 uh, like the, all the other ones are dome. They have like this. Yeah. And, and I think this, when you... This could actually be a super roller. Yeah. yeah. That would go far. Yeah. If you were, but it wears in pretty quick. Does it's it finish actually... straight or does it go to the right on the roller? Have you tried it? No, I haven't tried it yet. Mm, okay. It's just, I haven't really thrown them. I've only the used radius. it now for like high surf flips. All right, we made it back. Made it. Well, we're at the Airbnb we're staying at. It's really nice. Really nice little setup. Thanks to the guys. Oh, and you know what? The people that are the host, they made us a little coffee cake. Oh, well that's, that's a personal touch. But what I want to show you before we end the day is this new gadget that Danny has. Danny loves to watch his videos. He loves to make his YouTube videos, and he loves to watch his YouTube videos. <laughs> that's style. He's hands-free, man. What happens if we it? call you? Will the vibrate mess it up? Try it. I'm about to. Yeah, I got to get it balanced just right. It tends to fall this way. This is bad. This is probably why it was only five dollars. <laughs> oh, you bought that? Yeah. <laughs> Did you call him? Yeah. It's calling right now. <laughs> Answer it. Oh, I was just hoping the vibrate would knock it loose. Uh, hello. Hey, what's up, man? I uh, just chilling, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Gets two thumbs up. <laughs> All right, it is Sunday morning. We are headed out to, well, Danny and Anthony are already out at Eureka Golf Course, Disc Golf Course, and uh, they're filming a practice round with Zach, Eric, and who else was joining them? AJ. AJ, AJ is joining, so look forward to that video. Me and Taco are going to bring them some bug spray because the bugs are vicious out here. And then we are headed to the field event, and I do believe I'm going to catch up with Zoe. Missy and I believe Paige Pierce will be there and I'm sure we'll catch up with a few other people as they play some field events. So we got here early at the uh, Washington Five Points. Yes. Five Points High School. BDJ setting things up for the field events, but as you can see, looks like the weather may not cooperate with us today. We'll have to wait and see what happens. Weather. I'm a martyrologist. A martyrologist? Yeah, a martyrologist. Uh, Rain, rain, thunderstorms. Let's let's look at the Doppler. Uh, that's not great. Wait, but but here is where we really want to look. Yikes! Whoa! Is that, that coming at us? That in, that's that's like half the Earth that's under rain. <laughs> I was just thinking, I was like, that looks like the world. There's a storm roughly the size of Missouri. Heading this way. Did you build your ark? Uh, we're pretty prepared. We have one in the trailer. We have one in the trailer and ark. Yeah. So it looks like they've added some new events to the field events here at the PDJ Professional World Championships. We've got the uh, electronic scaffolding. I have no idea if that's what really what it is, but we're going to go with it. And then we've got this this uh, forklift mega thing. So I'm not sure. I'm thinking maybe more like a Kevin Jones would be good on this one. This guy, the forklift power thing whatever it's called I'm sure you construction people are just tearing me up right now um, then we've got uh, this little guy I'm thinking Ricky Wysocki is going to dominate on this anyway this this is probably this is what Paul McBeth is going to dominate on for the new field events here called the construction zone uh, skill shot construction thing so yeah it'll be exciting to see uh, who dominates on these
Valentina, the RV person extraordinaire, is helping us out. What's up? I threw it kind of far. Where's your propane tank? I went in one between of those? Ruth and Kevin. I think that one. Smart, right? <laughs> All right. Fun fact. This is called a gauge. And when the gauge goes down past the E, that means empty, which means there's no longer propane. Are we empty? You're empty. <laughs> which means your fridge won't work. All right. Thank you, RV You're doctor. You're welcome. Tina Oakley. Anytime. Looks like, well, it is. It's raining. Doesn't look like it's raining right now, but it looks like some of our players are going to still try to, they're going to warm up for putting. They're not quite sure they're going to do the putting because it looks like there's a lot more rain coming. So, but I'm going to see if I can follow them, but I'm going to change cameras so that I can zoom in and out. So I can try to stay under the umbrella, but I can zoom in out. So I'm going to change cameras. So it's going to look a little bit different. So when I come back, it's going to be a different camera. It'll look a little bit different, but it'll be okay. Here we go. All right, we're back. So I got the different camera. It's going to look a little different, probably sound a little different too, but let's head out and see if we can capture some action of them doing the putting field events here at the Pro Worlds. Danny and Anthony are doing MPO3 coverage, full tournament coverage. Super excited at what they're going to produce for you guys to watch. Now, because we're doing that, we are going to a PDGA media meetup. So we're going to see all the media people that are doing stuff out here at Pro World. So should be good times. Let's check it out. See what's happening here. See what all the people are doing. Oh dear. Is this a media meetup and I'm the only one that brought a camera? What, what kind of media people are you? Oh, what's up, media? Alright, so we just had our media meeting. Got a lot of media stuff going on here. Disc Golf Media rocks! We rock! Everybody rocks with Disc Golf Media. There's pretty much everybody standing up and complaining about doing next day coverage. <laughs> yeah, everybody complaining about next day coverage. So be thankful that you got next day coverage. Alright, also I want to congratulate Missy Gannon on winning the 2019 Putting World Champion. She did it. That's twice for Dynamic Discs. Last year was Zoe. This year, Missy Gannon. Congratulations, Missy. That's it for today. It's Sunday. It is Sunday, right? Yep, still it's Sunday. Sunday, and tomorrow we're going to do some more practice rounds with our players. And then Tuesday is, is, is tournament coverage day. It's time to get down. That's what we're looking forward to over on this side of the house. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Real stoked for Tuesday to get here. Specifically and Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night. These guys are going to be working hard, so uh, show your appreciation. Give us a thumbs up. Subs up. Thumbs up. This is how we're going to get through those. That's how you're going to get it through? The right coffee? Here. Sponsored by, by yeah. hashtag coffee. ad. Coffee from 1850. We should have gotten through Yeah, coffee. it's like old school, you know, wine kind of age as well. Coffee does the same thing. Monday morning out here at Sunset Hills Golf Course. Of course, it's set up as a disc golf course here for Pro Worlds and for Ledgestone. Now, this is my first time being here. Paige Burgess, she's doing a uh, press conference here at Sunset Hills Golf Course. So, it should be kind of cool to see what all the press conference stuff is about. Um, then to later tonight, we have the uh, opening ceremonies. Today, let's see, Danny is filming 
uh, Paige Bierkus a few little uh, holes that she is practicing. Then hopefully we'll catch up with Missy if it doesn't rain. It's already starting to rain. So that might be a thing to deal with. All right, so what are you looking for when you walk a hole? Um, looking for landing zones, especially on a par four like this. Um, the, this is a different hole from Ledgestone. They've combined two holes, so the landing zone is about the same. I've always kind of struggled with this landing zone though, and it's really important now to get all the way at the end of this first part of the fairway. And so that's what I'm gonna try to, try to do, and then hopefully be able to make the corner on the second shot. This, the one that kind of uh, points down right off the tee here, yeah. I think it, it was longer and it kind of really made it a low ceiling shot. You wonder if, sto if a storm knocked it? Yeah, maybe. Bit, you know. Or somebody came out here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Is about what you want? Yeah, it's close. It's a little short, um, especially because I'm not quite sure how sharp and how far it goes past the corner. But I'm just about short of the corner, um, so I might need to disc up a little bit. That was a fairway driver. That was an escape. So I think I might have to maybe try a trespass to get a little bit farther. I think that's going to set me up a little bit better, especially being a little off the corner as well. I should be able to get a good upshot. Have you even seen this yet? No, I have no idea. So that one, the skate's going to still be too tight. This is going to be okay. But definitely attack it from here, but <clears throat> that's like a totally different spot. I don't yeah. even know where that is. It's, that's the bushes. Short oh, the right. Hole. The old, the basket, there was a short Steve. hole that they took away for Ledgestone that goes farther out into the opening over there. This is just short and left into the bushes that you wanted to avoid on that old hole. So that's pretty cool. It's still pretty low ceiling, I don't know. I'm gonna have to like hyzer flip something low and maybe get a good skip past that stump. I don't know. We'll try it. Let's go straight fairway. Oh, too high. But she fought through. Oh, that stump. <laughs> okay, I think that, that might be right. Yeah. So maybe just throw something a little yeah. more flippy or more anty and have it land here, which was a pretty good landing spot last month when we were here for Ledgestone. Yeah. And it really just opens up this fairway. And it makes you lower than the low ceiling, so it helps yeah. you keep it low. Cool. Uh, yeah, so I mean, sometimes I've practiced this course before, and sometimes it's nice to just come out and look at some new holes or look at or just re-practice some holes that are giving me trouble maybe during practice um, and just really try to dial those in especially something like that a really tough par four um, i think that it's really important to know the landing zones and really know what disc you're going to throw before you know you have to decide during the tournament so yeah i feel like that was good i feel like i know that hole a little bit better now and um, hopefully it works during the tournament All right, we had a little bit of a uh, technical, not a technical, a production emergency. Anthony was filming Zach Melton's practice round and he needed another battery. So not a huge emergency, but just a little bit of one. So I'm out here bringing a battery for Anthony. Looks like he's following Zach Melton on his practice round. So this is gonna be me vlogging about a practice run, which in a sense, if you think about it, a practice run is in a sense kind of like a vlog. Kinda. Yo, dog. I have to use your camera to see what I'm filming. <laughs> <laughs> How's your practice run going? Pretty good. 
pretty good. Oh, hey, how's it going? Good. I know you're alive. I should say something positive. No, I'm yeah. just kidding. I'm I hitting, should, should I make up something positive? I'm hitting all the trees, Bobby. No, it's just good to kind of see him one more time. I'm like playing from not ideal shots, you know, throwing a couple off every tee and just right. seeing how bad it can be. <laughs> all right. Well, I'll let you get back to the original videoing the of The original you. filming of the yeah. filming. Here, should we film it again? Oh. Now you have to film yourself editing this part too. Right. <laughs> I don't know if we're supposed to be in here. We're in the auditorium where they're gonna do the opening ceremony. You can see right there, there's the stage right there. It has all the flags and that's where they're gonna do the ceremony, opening ceremony and give out the awards. You can see the, can you see them on the table? There's a, the awards are gonna give out, so. Yeah. Okay, so I gotta go, cause I think PDJ's in here and I don't know that I'm supposed to be in here already. All right, it is Wednesday, Tuesday morning, and we are headed to the Eureka course for the first day of tournament coverage. Woo! Yeah! yeah. So, so we are doing, like I've told you guys before, we are doing next day coverage, <laughs> Danny and Anthony. Anthony on the throw cam, Danny on the catch cam, and both of those will be editing together some superb Pro Worlds superb. coverage. So if you are not subscribed, make sure you subscribe right now. Do it right now. We'll wait. Still waiting? Come on, it's next day coverage. How long does it take it's to subscribe, right there. guys? It's down to the right, big red button. You can't miss it. Did you do it yet? Did that you hit did. that? I saw that one guy. He did? Do it. Nice. That Thanks, dude. Yeah. Thanks, dude. Appreciate also, you, give us a thumbs up. <laughs> 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 Alright, it has been an amazing week. Now I know I didn't do, we have been so busy working on the tournament, well I say me, Anthony and Danny have been so busy working on the tournament coverage. I hope you've been enjoying that. Um, I was working on photographs and, and, and things for thumbnails and photographs for the players, so I have not done any videotaping all week. For that I apologize. Hopefully you got enough from the beginning of Worlds, but now it is the end of Worlds. We've already congratulated Paige Pierce on five time world champion FPO division she is amazing I'm gonna be putting together like a video of her last round so hopefully you guys can enjoy that but right now we are going to a team dynamic disc there we're having a good time relaxing celebrating with everybody here at Michael's Italian feast so let's kind of go check in with some of the players and see how they're feeling after a week long five rounds of disc golf we had some really good players we had Paige Pierce, of course, five-time champion. We had uh, Eric Oakley, and I have to be quiet. Everybody's being quiet. Eric Oakley, top, tied for 10th. We had Missy Gannon with the putting championship. We had all kinds of celebrating going on oh, here at Diamond Disc. Really 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 <laughs> were you dancing? Did you even realize? She was dancing, and she wasn't on camera. So anyway, we're here. We're going to celebrate and have a good time. So, yeah. This is from Anthony's. Anthony's mom makes these cookies for all the team players. She made one bag of cookies for each team player. Anthony's mom. Are you kidding me? No, 27 bags, and they all have like, like seven or eight cookies in them. Anthony's oh, mom dude. rocks. Bobby, that's just how the cookie crumbles. <laughs> All right, we made it back to Emporia, Kansas. The DDRV is parked, ready to unload. We're at the warehouse. It's a beautiful Kansas evening. 
What a great week, guys. I hope you enjoyed the tournament coverage that we brought you. If you haven't watched any of it and you're watching this video, make sure you go back and look at our videos because Danny and Anthony put a lot of, I think they figured over 100 hours of just filming and editing to bring you guys tournament coverage to help out the PDGA, help grow the sport, help worlds just have even more tournament coverage. Who knows, maybe we'll do more of that. If you like for us to do more of that, put it in the comments below. Thank you guys for some of your feedback. I say some of your feedback. If you're new to our YouTube channel, hopefully you'll find some other stuff that are, is of value. We have physics of flight videos. We have fun disc golf adventure videos like the one you just watched right here. Um, so make sure that you're subscribed. If you're not subscribed, whoo, a little bit of color change there. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel. If not, give us a thumbs up subscribe leave some comments below what type of content you want to see more from us here on the dynamics this youtube channel Whew, i'm tired i need to go i'm going to unpack go see my little dog sebastian we'll see you on the next video i'm bobby cool daddy slick breeze oh, oh gross i just warned you <laughs> 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 Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> what a dodge! Stop! Yeah, you yeah, yeah, that slow-mo. He's like... Oh. Hey.